Hi friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you about Gauss elimination method and Gauss Jordan elimination method both in detail and the difference between the two. So let's start. Here a system of linear equations are given and solved by Gauss elimination method. First, we will put the equation in augmented matrix. This is called augmented matrix and this part, this 3 into 3 matrix is called coefficient ma matrix because all the coefficients are written here. And this part is called augmented part. Now we will apply elementary row operations. Elementary operations means addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and we will apply those techniques on rows. This is row 1 or R1, this is R2 and this is R3. The objective of Gauss elimination method is to form a lower triangle of zeros. Now to bring a zero here we can multiply R3 by 2 and subtract that from R1, R2. So R2 equals to R2 minus 2 R3. So we will get a 0 here. To bring a 0 here, we can multiply R3 by 8 and subtract R1 from that. So R3 equals to 8 R3 minus R1. We will get a 0. To bring a 0 here, we can multiply R3 by 17 and add 66 times of R2 with that. So R3 equals to 17 R3 plus 66 R2. Now we have got 3 zeros here, but here 2 to 640s are there. Mm -hmm. To eliminate this, we can divide R3 by 640. So R3 equals to R3 into 1 by 640. So we will get 2 ones. Now we have a triangular system of equations 8x plus 2y minus 2z equals to 8. This is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Now we will apply back substitution. Back substitution means we will apply, we will put the <coughs> values of equation 3 in equation 2 and we will put the result obtained in equation 1. So 3, 2, 1 back substitution. So substituting equation 3 in equation 2, we will get 17y plus 3 into 1 that is z equals to 1 equals to 20. So 17y equals to 17, y equals to 1. Substituting y equals to 1 and z equals to 1 in equation 1, we will get 8x plus 2 into 1 minus 2 into 1 equals to 8. So x equals to 8 by 8 equals to 1. So x equals to 1, y equals to 1 and z equals to 1. This is our required solution obtained by Gauss elimination method. Now Gauss Jordan elimination method. Again 3 equations putting into augmented matrix and the objective of Gauss elimination, Gauss Jordan elimination technique is that here we convert the coefficient matrix into an augmented, into an identity matrix. Identity matrix means all diagonal elements are 1, 1, 1, 1 and other elements are 0. Now again elementary row operations we can see the row 1 is multiples of 2. So we will divide that by 2. So R1 equals to half into R1. So we will get 1 here. Now to bring a 0 here we can subtract R1 from R2 and to bring a 0 here we can subtract 3 times of R1 from R3. So R2 equals to R2 minus R1 and R3 equals to R3 minus 3 times of R1. We have got 2 zeros. Now we can again see that R2 is multiples of 2. So R2 equals to half into R2. So we have got 1 here at the middle position. Now we have to bring 0 here. So we will do that with the help of R2 not R1. If we multiply 2 times of R1 from R3 so here we will get minus 2. That way that we don't want. We want 0 here. So you will use R2 to 0 R3. So R3 equals to R3 plus 2 R2. So we will get a 0 here. Now we have to bring this to 1. For that we will use R3 equals to minus 1 by R1 by minus 1 by R3. And to bring a 0 here we can use R1 equals to R1 minus R2. This minus this. Now we have to eliminate this two to get an identity matrix. To do so, we will minus 2 times of R3 from R1. 
So R1 equals to R1 minus 2R3. Now we have got an identity matrix. So we have 1, 1J equals to 3, so J equals to 3, 1Y equals to 2, Y equals to 2, and 1X equals to 1, so X equals to 1. So X equals to 1, Y equals to 2, and J equals to 3 is our required solution obtained by Gauss-Jordan elimination method. Now the difference. Gauss-Jordan, Gauss elimination technique is named after Carl Friedrich Gauss. And Gauss Jordan elimination is named after Carl Friedrich Gauss and Willem Jordan. The objective of Gauss elimination to bring zeros in lower triangle of augmented matrix or the coefficient matrix. And the objective of Gauss Jordan elimination to find form an identity matrix in the augmented matrix or the coefficient matrix. It requires pivotization, it doesn't require pivotization. It brings uh, the matrix to row epsilon form or the triangular form, and it brings down some matrix to reduce row epsilon form. And Gauss elimination also used to solve system of linear equations to find rank of a matrix, to calculate determinant of a matrix, and to find inverse of a invertible matrix. And Gauss Jordan technique is used to solve system of linear equations and to find inverse of a invertible matrix. So friends, this was my tutorial. If you like this, please uh, like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Additionally, you can follow my blog at www.suji-techbiologyspot.com. That is sujoy-tech.blogspot.com. So thanks for watching.